Hello friends, in this video I will talk about the best and the convenient method to transfer files from an Android smartphone to a computer through your wireless network. Now I am going to introduce Wi-Fi File Transfer Pro, a smart Android application for wireless file transfer. This lightweight application can make your phone into a web server and you can upload and download files between a smartphone and a computer by using your wireless network and without using a USB cable. You can download and install this application from the Play Store. Now activate Wi-Fi of your phone and run Wi-Fi File Transfer Pro application by pressing the start button. Then this application assigns an IP address for the phone. We can type this IP address at the address bar of any standard browser to access the various files in the phone. We can see the IP address as 192.168.2.18.1234. This application runs in the background till you press the stop button. Let me open a browser. I have a Google Chrome browser in my system. So I'll just uh, double click to open the Google Chrome browser and at the address bar of the browser and I'll give this IP address that is 192.168.2.18.1234 then you just give an enter. Now you can see Wi-Fi File Transfer Pro PC interface. Let's explore this interface and this interface consists of two tabs one is a file browser tab another one is a media gallery tab the file browser tab you know, gives us number of options like internal storage uh, when you click on internal storage you will see the various files and folders in the internal memory of your phone and uh, you can see the current directory as storage uh, slash sd card 0 sd card 0 stands for the internal memory of the phone and when you just click on uh, sd card it shows us the external memory card that is uh, storage slash external sd card uh, then you have options like my photos my pictures my music and my videos each of these options will directly take us uh, to the corresponding media elements uh, now we have another option called media gallery when you click on media gallery uh, you will see pictures and you can see the pictures directly on your phone that is you can have a direct access on all the pictures uh, in your phone and these pictures can be downloaded and you can go back to the parent directory if you want okay uh, let me download a file that is stored in one of the folders of the phone uh, let me choose a memory location first i have internal memory storage and sd card i'll select sd card and uh, you, you will see the various folders in the SD card. So I'll click on DZIM folder, the folder in which the camera files get stored. I'll click on camera. You can see the various files, that means the photographs that are captured using the camera. You can go through all these photographs and uh, you can select any desired photograph. For example, I would like to download these photographs. So I have made a selection. Uh, once you select it, you can download it you can delete it you can move that file to a different location if you want you can make a compressed version a zip version of the file or you can make a new directory in the memory location uh, so what i'll do is uh, i can download it but before i download uh, let me just make more than one selections if i want i can uh, make any number of selections and uh, i can download it when i click on download uh, see you have got a message that is you have selected seven files or directories you can download it as individual files that means the way you see it in the memory phone memory or you can download it as a single a zip file which can be unzipped later you have two choices here okay uh, now uh, i'll just uh, deselect these files and let me download a single file i have deselected all those files and uh, let me just click on download so it has downloaded boom see the speed of download you know that uh, the Wi-Fi file transfer speed is around 200 to 300 megabytes per second whereas in Bluetooth you get maximum 3 MB per second okay now I'll open this file pretty interesting right it's a photograph of a delicious Indian dish 
So this is how you download a file from the phone. Now let's see how to upload a file to the phone. So before that you have to decide uh, the folder in which it is to be uploaded. Uh, you can upload uh, in your file to any of the existing folders in your external memory card or else you can create a new folder. I'll create a new folder. Just click on new folder and you give a name for that. I'll call it as test because it is a, a test folder and I'll give OK. So you can see that the test folder is created. I'll just open that folder. Now I'll select uh, the files to be uploaded. You can uh, either upload files individually one by one or else you can uh, click on select folder option uh, to upload an entire folder. So in this case I would like to select individual files. So just click on select files and uh, I'll choose this file as well as this one. You can have more than one selections but if you want to make more than one selections you have to press control key that's all and I'll just give open and it will show you the file size as 4.3 MB that is these two files put together is 4.3 MB just click on start upload boom and it took hardly two seconds to upload 4.3 MB of data you can see the marvelous speed of upload now let's see whether the files got transferred to the phone I'll go to files and I'll select all files and I'll select external SD card and you can see the test folder there which you have created using this application. See the files got transferred and I'll open those files using the gallery of the phone. So this is how you transfer files between a smartphone and a PC in a better and a smarter way using the Wi-Fi File Transfer Pro. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Do subscribe to my channel to get a clear insight on best Android applications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.